Uh, today is an exciting day for all of us. We're here in the city of Fall River at the brand new Durfee High School. This is a over 500,000 square foot facility. As you can see, uh, we are in the midst of construction in the winter. Uh, we are currently standing in the engineering and design wing of our new facility. Uh, and we are now wrapping uh, the exterior to winterize so that we can begin the process of installing all the furniture, equipment, and materials. You can see behind or in front of me here, uh, the grand foyer, uh, the grand entrance. This will all be glass encased. And what's interesting in the design feature is that the glass also serves a purpose to heat uh, the facility, but we're gonna have natural light uh, in all classrooms in this building, which the current high school does not have. Uh, this is a courtyard, it's one of two. Uh, the building is essentially a giant figure eight. Uh, it's three stories tall, four stories with the uh, roof in the front uh, of the facility. Uh, and we're all very excited right now uh, as we just recently topped off uh, the steel construction uh, and now wrapping and ready for the winter. Uh, I'm very excited, as you can see, not only because I'm so proud uh, to be the superintendent of the school system, but also this is a testament to the goodwill of the people of Fall River who voted a debt exclusion to allow uh, the funding possible. This is a $265 million building. That's a quarter of a billion dollars. That's a huge investment in the future of this city. Uh, we're very uh, 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 in the belief that the future of our economic development for this region will be driven through our public schools. So this is a testament uh, to the goodwill of the taxpayers, uh, understanding that we're only as good as the quality of education we provide our citizenry. Uh, so as a, as a uh, superintendent, we had to design this building thinking, well, what's futuristic? What are we gonna have in place for students? As I said, this is the engineering design wing of the building. Behind me and in front of us uh, is our early childhood center, our cosmetology. We're going to have a, a hairdressing and barber shop uh, in this facility. We have our culinary program, which includes we're going to have a, a restaurant that the public's going to be able to eat in. We have our library and our arts, uh, performing arts facility. We have uh, uh, engineering design. Behind us, we have all of our, our visual arts programming and, which you'll like, our amazing TV production studio, which is uh, top of the shelf in terms of uh, really quality production. Now, granted, as you can see, we've had a storm this week, so it's very wet. Uh, and right now, what we're putting in is all the drainage systems. So this building, uh, it meets all of the criteria for drainage, for seismic, the, the uh, braces, the cross braces are essentially earthquake proof. And then, you know, so it's seismic construction, uh, the drainage, the lighting, the heating, the materials. This is a green facility. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, the newest high school in Massachusetts. So it has all the bells and whistles uh, involved in high quality construction. Uh, I think. Uh, and don't get me wrong, that as we, as we presently speak, this is the largest high school being built in Massachusetts. There'll be two that are larger than us uh, in the next few years, but right now, we are the uh, monolithic behemoth. Uh, this is a classroom. We're standing in a classroom right now. You'll say, well, superintendent, it's really not impressive, but think what the future holds in this great space. Our teachers are gonna have modern uh, technology. Each room is gonna be like a like a a, 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 a technological uh, uh, exploratory space. So the walls will have touch screens. The the, the classrooms will be uh, uh, interchangeable and movable. Uh, we're going to have devices for every single kid. It's going to be uh, top of the line, cutting edge, bleeding edge uh, technology. A lot of this building, when you think about futuristic design. A lot of this building was designed to be essentially open 24 hours a day. So the activities uh, that we have, the public is going to be welcome. Uh, behind you is going to be one of the public entrances into the, uh, the uh, restaurant and the public spaces uh, that we're going to be using to actually do Cosmo work, to do 
uh, uh, the hairdressing, the barber shop, the hair cutting, the beautification to make uh, faces uh, beautiful. That's all going to happen down here. Early childhood, if you have a child that's two or three and you need a programming in space, what better than have them educated by the great students in our early childhood program. Uh, this is an American-made building. You can see the quality of the craftsmanship of our great labor unions uh, from all over the New England region. Uh, and what's great is people traveled to Fall River to, uh, you know, in the specialty fields. The welders came up from down south. The iron workers come from uh, 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 both Massachusetts and Rhode Island. The laborers union is the local here, but also the local in, in uh, Rhode Island. So this is a regional project. One of the great things that we've seen also is that some of our construction workers actually graduated from Durfee High School and they're now back here building this great building. So, you know, we're really excited. If you look behind you up above, if you can get a, a shot, a high shot, you see a, a tower. That's going to be a clock tower reminis reminiscent of the original uh, 1877 Durfee High School uh, up on the hill, uh, downtown Durfee. We're going to put the historic bells. Uh, the great bells that we can play and manipulate uh, to, to actually play Durfee Alma Mater and God Bless America and the National Anthem and the Marine Corps Hem uh, and uh, every other song that you want to play will be uh, prominently displayed in that building. On the other side, uh, we also have a tower. We're going to have a great historic telescope where we're going to be able to uh, 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 look at the solar landscape, if you will, in uh, outer space, uh, which will be really cool to think about how past and present can live simultaneously uh, in a building, in educational space. You can see the fields are behind us, so the building essentially wraps around the football field. We're going to have Friday night lights uh, celebrating here uh, for those folks who don't like being out in the cold like we're in right now, to be able to look out over the the, uh, the field and have Friday night football and, and soccer and field hockey games and hopefully lacrosse out here on this field. Uh, we got about another uh, 13 months left of construction. Uh, this, this Suffolk Construction is our building uh, uh, manager, uh, the construction manager. They do a great job. They hire local labor unions to do the actual labor. Our architects, our AR3, our project managers, our left field. We got the best construction professionals possible uh, building this uh, testament to the, uh, to the educational prowess of this great city. I will also say that uh, they've been very, uh, you know, the teachers are involved, the students are involved, uh, and that all plays out in the practical uh, placement and the practical design of this facility.